G'day guys, welcome back. Welcome to Pouring Your Heart Out. I am going to play with some crystals today. I'm going to make some crystals. I'm going to attempt to make some crystals. It's something that um, oh, I remember doing when I was in school, you know, making a crystal. But today, because, you know, Valentine's Day and all, I'm going to see if I can put some crystals on this little iridescent plastic flower. Now, I don't even know if the crystals are going to stick to this. Not sure, but um, yeah, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna have a go. We'll have a try. So what I've got is some alum powder. Now this one, and I just put it in my own container. It's just easier for me. Aluminium potassium sulfate. Okay, alum powder. So that's what I'm going to use. So I need quite a lot because I want to sink that in there. Um, I think probably 500 or 600 milliliters I will need. So my kettle has just boiled. Um, I'm going to go and grab some boiling water and then I will be right back. Okay, so I have got 500 milliliters or two cups of boiling water. And now I am going to weigh out... Now, I have been just like behind the scenes. I've been playing with these crystals for a few days. I um, haven't really had a lot of success. But um, I have worked out that I need 200 mils, milliliters of water to 90 grams of this alum powder, aluminium keep forgetting what it's called, aluminium potassium sulfate. So I've got 500 grams of, uh, 500 millilitres of water, so I'm going to do 225 grams. So pop that in there. So 90 grams per 200 millilitres. So I need 225, I'm up to 150. I wouldn't pour this in. <laughs> I tried that once. I just sort of poured and it splashed everywhere. So don't do that. We'll just go slowly with the spoon. 220. 225. Okay. So the next thing that I need to do is um, I need to dissolve this powder in the water. Now this part, this part is is quite tricky. This is us when I started making these crystals or growing crystals. I struggled with this because I, I watched YouTube videos as you do when you're trying to learn something new, and everyone said you have to have a super saturated solution. So they said get your hot water. They said don't boil it. Just get your hot water. Add keep adding alum crystals or alum powder until no more will dissolve until you've got alum in the bottom like that. And so I thought, okay, I'll do that. And then I'm thinking, okay, this is way too much powder in here. It's not dissolving. It must be all right. But the thing that I found, and a lot of... Sorry about that. My daughter Gemma just got home. <laughs> My youngest, she is moving out though next week for the like fourth time. <laughs> Anyway, back to the uh, back to the crystals. People don't really, for what I found, people kind of just said, "Oh, mix it until it's super saturated," and then you know the next day they go, "Oh, look, here's my beautiful crystal." It ain't that easy. I struggled. So anyway, getting back to this, as soon as you pour your water, your boiling water, into the jug and add your alum crystals, the temperature reduces dramatically, and it's not going to. Um, all dissolve. I know I've got the right amounts in there. So what I need to do is I need to now take this into the kitchen and I need to microwave it and I'm going to pop it on high for a minute and stir it and then all of this should have gone. Uh, if you don't want to use your microwave you can put a pot, a saucepan, um, on your stove. You can add your water, bring it up to the boil, add your alum powder and keep boiling until it's dissolved. It needs to be clear, okay? Clear as mud? <laughs> yep, all right, I'm gonna go and micro microwave this. Oh, we'll be right back. Okay, so I gave it one more minute 
in the microwave and it is clear and uh, yeah all dissolved so don't think that you have to have some sitting on the bottom it's probably because your water's not hot enough okay so dissolve it as much as you can working on that little recipe you guys know I like recipes 200 milliliters of water 90 grams of alum all right now I want to put this gorgeous flower in here and I want to be able to put sticks like that either side of it because it's going to want to sink you see so what I thought I would do is get this little fuzzy stick they don't call them pipe cleaners anymore apparently they're um this is a chenille stem <laughs> would you believe it a chenille stem so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just tie this little stem here if I can get that in the middle just like that I'm going to twist it there because that's kind of where I want it to go and then I'm going to open it up so that I can then hopefully attach it to my pop sticks that's the plan anyway I'm sure there's other ways of doing it but this is how I am going to do it um, I think it's really tricky <laughs> really tricky with trying to tie a knot in like string or something like that really tricky that's why I am gonna try this way and just see how we go it's gonna go around there like that easy peasy lemon squeezy hopefully that will work it's going to kind of want to move a little bit maybe we'll see anyway I'll just have a play with that so that looks as if it's going to kind of stay there hopefully maybe not <laughs> trial and error you guys trial and error let's put that there You get the general idea of what I'm trying to do. And uh, like you could use wire as well. You could use some wire. Probably just need to do that like so. How's that sitting? I don't want it to touch the bottom and I don't want it to be too... It's got to be like high enough because I don't want it to touch the sides. Otherwise, um, you're going to get crystals sort of stuck onto the side of it. So I'm just going to have a little play with this and um, I've got some tape here. I'll just tape these together and yep, that should work. But basically the pipe, the pipe cleaners, <laughs> I'm not calling that anymore, but um, hopefully they will just hold everything together. I just need another person really to help me hold these while I get my tape organised where I want it let's put my tape there like so the things you can do with a piece of tape and some a pipe cleaner <laughs> all right now I just want to make sure that I'm centered I'm centered let's have a look oh, that looks pretty good looks pretty good I'll just try and bring that up a little bit higher okay so basically that is all I'm going to do yeah, that wants to drop I'm just going to oh there's a little bit there look at that I can bend that around there has that that'll hold it ha, perfect okay um, let's get down and have a little look little look at what's going on here so there we go there's the flower I 
but it's not touching the side I might have to bring it up just a tiny little bit more but um, basically that's how it's going to sit now I'm just going to leave it like that um, and then come and have a look at it tomorrow so yeah hopefully hopefully we'll get crystals I, I am a little bit um, unsure if they will stick on to smooth items not sure we will find out together all right see you in the morning so it's been a couple of hours um, I did put a few more little pop sticks under here to lift it up a little bit you have to be really really careful that you don't move bump vibrate this solution um, otherwise it can the crystals can stop growing so put it somewhere where it's not going to be disrupted disturbed but um, I'm just gonna I'm not gonna get too close I'm not gonna bang the table but I can see I can oh, maybe I could down here I can see that there's some crystals starting to form I don't know if you can see now the crystals like growing sort of towards the bottom of whatever you're putting in there so I can see some crystals hanging on to those petals hopefully you can see it's only after a couple of hours and then there's some crystals down the bottom as well so as the solution cools the um, the water can't hold the salt well the crystals um, so they, they kind of drop out of the water and they cling onto what they can. So they'll cling to the sides of your container, they'll sit on the bottom um, and they'll also cling to whatever's in the solution. So when the solution is really hot, boiling, you know, the, the um, powder can get dissolved into the water. But then as the water cools, the crystals will form as the the um, the powder or the crystals sort of come out of the water look it's a bit hard to explain but it's like it's like when you're trying to um, stir sugar into your coffee if your coffee is cold <laughs> it just doesn't work but um, it will dissolve into hot water so there you go probably not explaining myself really well I'm still learning I'm very new at this but oh, so excited that it's actually working um, I might come back and check it in another couple of hours before I go to bed so it's been about another hour it's now 9 30 p.m. and look at the size of those crystals <gasps> I know it's a little bit difficult because you know we're the, looking through water it's a bit distorted but look at what's going on in there it's just incredible none of my other pieces have worked like this although this is the first time I've put a plastic flower in gosh it's just amazing oh my gosh I can't believe how that's going I know you can't really see through there the camera can't really pick it up all that well anyway there it is <laughs> this is like three hours worth of growth so as it cools we get more crystals amazing I'm just hoping that it's not going to be one big blob in the morning whether I should like take it out now <laughs> Anyway, I'll get up early and see what it's doing. See you tomorrow. All right, it's the next day. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited! I'm so excited. I don't know where to start. I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna think I'm gonna start with just sort of pouring off some of this excess water if I can. Pour that out. I am just a little bit worried that like the flower is going to be so heavy with all the crystals on it that um, you know when I pick it up it's just going to fall apart 
what I've found when the when your crystals are still really new, you know, they're wet. They they're very they're very soft. Um, it can be very soft, can be very crumbly. Um, so sometimes it's best just to let them dry um, before you touch them. But I'm gonna see. Oops, I have to see what it's gonna look like. All right, let's let's just start here. Let's get this tape off. Now this water, the solution, you can you can use it again, but you don't know what the percentage is of water to alum crystals in there now because you know a lot of the alum crystal has been taken out of that water and has been put into the the crystal itself so you know i i've seen people again on youtube i'll, I'll keep that for my cleaning my <laughs> my molds i've seen people on um youtube reheating this and adding more alum but for me as you know as i said i like recipes so I wouldn't know how much exactly to add to it so I don't know whether I would risk it I've got a broken leaf there <laughs> I can glue it back on yes yeah, so I don't know if I, I'd risk that um, I think I would just sort of start again but um, look I'm not going to throw it out I, I will keep it um, and we'll just see what happens all right now where are we going Have a look. that one I better hold on to it, I think. It doesn't want to come off. Oh, I don't want to come. Oh, there we go. All right. I'm just going to hold on to this. Take these away. Now, this one's got that pipe cleaner. Just going to. Oh, I can just unfold it. Okay, yeah. Okay, I think I can just, uh, look, uh, okay, oh, I can move it away, I can move it away. The crystals are staying where they're supposed to stay. Now, I'm going to get this off here. I need someone to hold that for me while I undo this pipe cleaner. Bear with me, bear with me. Let's see, oh no, gosh. See what I mean? Like, they're so soft, I should really just... Put it down a crystal fell off and see how see how the crystals like they're still really really soft and they can sort of fall apart i've got one really big crystal there look at that now that you could use as your seed crystal so what you do is when you've got your crystals there's a heap of them down the bottom there and uh, i'll do that in another video i'll take this crystal this seed crystal s-e-e-d and uh, hang that from a piece of fishing line and uh, grow at more crystals from that. But I'll keep that aside. That'll be another video. All right, I am going to... Oh, gosh. Let's... We'll have a quick look at it, and then I'm going to just put it back, hang it back up, because, like I said, it's really, 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 really soft. And got to be careful not to touch it. Look, there's a leaf here and it's got some crystals on it. We'll have a quick little look at it, okay? Quick little look. Oh, look at that. Oh my gosh. Wow, we have huge, humongous crystals. Was not what I was expecting at all. I thought I was just going to get like little fuzzy crystals all the way around, but we have got some massive crystals. This side here hasn't got as many. I don't know why. Look at that. Oh, they are massive. Look at the shape of those. That is quite heavy. <laughs> that is really quite heavy. We've got a lot on the, the other side as well, like on the back. Look at that. That is just incredible. So you could, if you wanted to, put it back in the solution. So I've got a couple of areas here that don't have any crystals on them. And there as well. I don't know why it's kind of more on that side. But, um, oh, wow. 
There's some really tiny little ones on the side there. I think they're just creeping through from the back, yes. I wonder if I can put it that way. No, you'd have to have a very deep container to put it that way. Oh my gosh, that's so pretty. And there's a few on the leaf. Oh, it's so heavy. <laughs> it wants to topple over. There's a few on the leaf there. All right. So I'm going to leave it like that. Um, like I said, you can, you know, put it back into the solution and let it grow longer. Um, I am going to just leave it like that because I want to... Um, I want to try this again. I have got another one of these flowers and I want to try um, I'm going to try with some borax solution and just see what happens. Now you, you can see how the crystals form. They kind of they kind of like triangles and they stepped. See this? I don't know if you can see. See that there? Like it's a little step. And there, there's a little step. It grows, it grows in like steps like that in triangles and that gets smaller and smaller oh my gosh scared the living daylights out of me <laughs> my compressor came back on i've got something in my um pressure pot and just every now and then the compressor will come back again when the pressure drops and it'll turn back on always scares me <laughs> all right so anyway i'm going to leave it like that um and uh, I am going to, actually, you know what I'm going to do? I, I'm just going to, I'll put it back in there, but I'm going to take some photos of it. Um, I'll put it up on my on my YouTube channel for you to see. Um, I am going to do a few crystal videos. Um, I wanted to start growing crystals so that I could use them in resin um, and make resin molds from real crystals, as far as, <laughs> as real as can be, without going and spending thousands of dollars on the real thing. But um, yeah, really happy with these. So um, you could give them a light spray with some um, clear varnish. Wait until they're dry though. But like I said, they're very, very soft and delicate at the moment. Little bits will fall off. So be really careful. All right. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed my video. And um, I will I'll see you all again real soon for the next one. I'm going to try it with borax and to see if we can get like a little... A, a sort of finer, smaller crystal covering all the petals. So stay tuned and um, watch me do that one. And we'll see if that works, okay? We will learn about crystals together. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. See you real soon for the next video. Take care. Bye for now.